All righty, we're going live. Wait for them to get on. Let me get Instagram going here. All right. And we'll be good to go. Get this off here. And let me go live this. I'm going live. We, oops. Going live. Live. Details. Okay. Bison Bonanza. Okay, here we go. everybody we are going to be cooking up today a lot of food we are on youtube youtube.com slash ukulele jbbq we're also live on instagram and we're going to be doing a bison bonanza today we have cooked up uh we've smoked a tenderloin i smoked that just got done doing that so we're gonna have a smoked tenderloin we're gonna be doing a bison tartare fresh we're gonna show you that live we also have multiple sauces we made today and for the sake of saving time we pre-made everything to mm -hmm. be ready. So, Jay Huntington 2021 on Instagram, uh, follow him. He's one of the chefs today with myself in the kitchen. We have done a uh, a port demi-glaze, chocolate demi-glaze port sauce. We've also done a uh, beet caramel sauce. So we're talking about beet caramel. And uh, we're also then gonna be doing uh, a, a garlic, uh, uh, a spumas, uh, infused, uh, air injected sauce as black, well. Black garlic. Black garlic, so we'll be doing that. Uh, Blues Hartman, good to see you, Dr. G. And we're waiting for everybody else to get on here. People are gonna start joining us shortly. We are live on YouTube, youtube.com slash ukulelejbbq. And also we are live on Instagram. So hang tight, we got a lot to do today. We did a lot of pre-cooking. I smoked the bison tenderloin today on the PK grills out in the back. We did Zenfana coconut charcoal and we put on some chunk of pecan wood. So we have that coconut charcoal with the pecan combination to smoke everything, which smells absolutely mind blowing. Took it off at 115 because we're gonna sear that also in front of you. We did some live fire cooking today out in the uh, wood fire oven. We did some bone marrow for our bone marrow sauce that you'll be seeing today as well. So we're almost ready to go and, and uh, check it out. Walter, thanks for joining. We're gonna let everybody get on here hopefully and uh, check it out. John's ready to go. And where are we at so far with what we're doing? All right, so do you wanna wait for more people? We yeah, let's start wait, doing, wait, wait uh, a couple minutes and then okay. we're gonna, we'll get going. But let me, let me show them what we're doing here real quick. Yeah. Um, let me flip this around this camera so they can see what we're doing here. And get this off and I'm gonna flip the camera around so you guys can see what we've got going here in the kitchen today. Let me flip it around. Okay, so here's our setup. We've got, you want to even explain what we got, John? Sure. So this is, a, a, we roasted off a bunch of bone, bone marrow. Um, unfortunately, we weren't able to get the bison uh, bone marrow that we wanted, but this is good bone marrow from uh, nice Angus beef. So that's bone marrow that's been roasted out earlier in the day in the oven that you'll see when we start taking the tenderloin out and Jade's gonna finish that off and do a beautiful sear on it. Um, we have uh, dat sauce, which if you've never had, you have to have it. It's a staple in my house. Um, should be a staple in everybody's house. It's that good. Uh, we've got some shallots, some lemon juice. This is some confit garlic that I've made, some chives. And then kind of a mixture of uh, olive, sun-dried tomato, and shallots that will be used in the tartare. Um, this is... Uh, Seaweed, some uh, nori, nori, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. little Dijon mustard. This is a piece of the uh, bison that we're going to use for the tartare. It's beautiful. Of course, an egg, and then little uh, mixtures to go into the bone marrow mousse that we're going to make. So we'll be doing two different things here, demonstrating, and it should be uh, uh, 
you know, a lot of fun to show everybody. And it's too bad that you can't taste on Instagram. Um, I guarantee <laughs> that you would be uh, following us uh, every day that we cook because it's that good right now. Um, I introduced Jay to black garlic today, and I think I've made a uh, true uh, fan of black garlic. Yeah, black garlic's amazing. Uh, the, the umami flavor mm -hmm. and the sweetness are just incredible. Yeah. I was really impressed with that. And this this is going to be yeah, amazing. We're, we're going to be actually doing some uh, some mousse. So we have our injector here that yep. uh, just bought it brand new so I can start experimenting with some sauces and some mousses. So we're doing some injecting today and hopefully getting some really cool foam out of this. Mm -hmm. And I think other than that, we're going to be ready to go. And we've got uh, a lot of other people. Kara, thanks for joining. Spicy Jacks, thanks for joining in. We are getting going here. We just showed everybody what we're doing for the tartare. Uh, John's going to start preparing the tartare, getting that going. Okay. And I'm going to show them real quick the sauces that we made today. And we'll talk about that real quick. So let me flip Perfect. this around. Uh, one of the things we did, which was really cool, we have a demo glaze sauce. It's a chocolate port that we have. So that is this sauce right here. Everything's been done in our hex clad pans. Absolutely fantastic. No stick. And then the next sauce we have, uh, we made here, I made a, uh, a caramel beet sauce. Thanks to John and his, uh, his recipe instructions. I made this up. This is absolutely incredible. This is a, a caramel beet sauce. It's very thick. We're gonna use this for our plating today. And we have some other sauces over here. In the back, we have got our um, roasted, pars roasted pars parsnip uh, sauce in the back that we did out in the wood fire grill that we showed that in one of the stories here a little while ago. And then we're prepping up here some shallots and some butter. And we are about ready to get going for everything, including the bison, which is actually right here. It's been resting. And we're going to sear it up. Smoked it for almost two hours. We're at 115. Uh, when we removed it, then we let it rest. We're going to sear it all up really good. Probably going to take it out in the wood fire oven and throw it in there live so you guys can see that. And I think we'll put you back on, the, on this here. We'll get you back on, flip this around, and we're gonna be ready to go. So John, go ahead and right. take it away. All right, so we're gonna start with, um, <laughs> which one am I looking at, this one? Yeah, let's do this Okay, one. so uh, we're gonna start out here with the bison. So this is from the Honest Bison. This is uh, free range, uh, grass-fed uh, bison, uh, sustainable, um, the uh, product of the meat, is absolutely uh, phenomenal. I cannot say anything nicer uh, or better than uh, there you go. Uh, this meat is just the flavor, the uh, texture, everything about this is wonderful. It's taken um, <clears throat> uh, from uh, three different uh, ranches uh, throughout the United States. Very um, uh, well kept, they're wild range. Uh, there is no uh, housing of these, they're basically uh, um, uh, butchered and uh, packed in the same day, so it's very fresh when you get it. So it's uh, again the honest bison, the honestbison.com. So, uh, first thing we're going to do, let me move this out of the way a little bit here, is we're going to take our uh, piece of tenderloin here. This is the tip of the tenderloin that we didn't cook, and I like to cut it in um, long ways first, and I try to do it very thinly. And you're just going to have small little pieces when we're all said and done here. That knife just melts through that. Oh, yeah. yeah this, this knife is uh, uh, custom made. Um, in, uh, Let's show our Instagram folks because they love the yeah. knife sets. So yeah. This is show them off this. beautiful hand uh, made knife. I will throw the name up here in just a minute. Uh, made out of uh, uh, Coast of Oregon over by Seaside. Just glides right through it. So John's prepping up the tenderloin part of it for our tartare. Have, has anybody had bison tartare at all by any chance? I don't know if I've ever had bison, but this is, see the nice red color of the meat. I'm here, Regis. <laughs> <laughs> We're cooking, gotta share, you know, share, share the time, share the your time with my buddy. Uh, I did a lot of cooking today with John, we split things up. Uh, I made some sauces, he made some sauces. I smoked the bison tenderloin. We did uh, Zen fire coconut charcoal with some really nice chunks of pecan wood and smoked that tenderloin for almost two hours to about 115, which was absolutely fantastic. Let me see here. 
Oh, I can zoom in. Look at that. Oh, there you go. There, we go. Look there at you that. go. All right. Mad Mutt's on. Thanks for joining. We're doing the tartare right now in progress. The bison tartare. And we're going to get this yummy. If you guys have YouTube as well, we got a wider camera too on YouTube. YouTube.com slash ukulelejbbq. That's going live as well. But everybody's pretty much on Instagram, but we thought we'd get YouTube going as well. There are a few people that like the YouTube view. You a little bigger bowl I can put this in and then we'll make Let's the go. dressing really quick sure. here. <clears throat> All right. So the first part about making the tartar is obviously cutting up the meat and <clears throat> we will pop this in the bowl. Normally you would uh, set it in the uh, refrigerator, but we're doing this as a demonstration here. So be okay because it's not going to be that long. So the next thing we're going to do is make our dressing here really quick. <clears throat> so um, to make the dressing that's going to go in with this, uh, you're going to take the one egg yolk. We're going to uh, get some shallots, chopped shallots. We are going to get our Dijon mustard. Put a little spoon here. We'll take this. Get that Dijon mustard down in there. And some squeezed lemon. And I'm gonna get a whisk here and we are going to whisk this up really quick. Basically making a mayo. So we'll get it all started here and then we'll start infusing the olive oil into it. So you can see that. I'm gonna have you squeeze that olive oil in while I go mixer mode here. Go ahead and just let it, we're gonna put about a fourth of a cup in there so it emulsifies. So we're basically making homemade mayo. Stir faster. All right. <laughs> And you can see it's starting to emulsify a little bit there. It's getting a nice silky texture to it. I think that's good. I think we're there. So, there we go. This is the manual part that takes time. Yes. Add a little salt and pepper to it here. She's got these awesome little salt and pepper shakers. All you have to do is turn it over and it runs. <laughs> Some Himalayan sea salt. Another little mixy mix. So what are you guys cooking today? Hopefully everybody's out cooking something, smoking something. Regis, what are you cooking? Warrior Barbecue, thanks for joining today. All right, so, so now, we're doing the tartare. So now comes the fun part. We're going to start putting all the fun stuff into the meat. So again, the sun-dried tomatoes, olives, and shallots will all go in and mix that all into the meat here. Sun-dried tomatoes, olives, and shallots. Yep. Love it. We have some fresh chives. Fresh chives going in, all right. We have some confit garlic. Confit garlic. Yummy, yummy. Yummy. Mm. That's why we wear gloves. And the nori, which is seaweed. seaweed. So Magical seaweed. A lot of tartars use the gherkin potatoes and they use um, capers. And capers are okay. I think that they have way too much... Um, they're just a little bit too salty for me. I'm not... Too briny. Too briny. Too briny. Yeah. And I really like the flavor that the seaweed brings out in the meat. And I like using the olives because I think the brine is a nicer in the olives. Plus the olives has a better, little better taste to it. So you're just going to kind of mix it all so it's all mixed up together. And then we're going to add our dressing into this. Oh, yeah. Who washes this guy's dishes? <laughs> we, we wash the dishes. <laughs> uh, what do you, who do you think washes the dishes? We... We wash them. We've been washing all day long as we go. Yeah. Uh, we use so many dishes, it's ridiculous. Every pan just about. It's one I mean, this is a big day today. This is a big dish. You'll see when we plate this yeah. up at the end yeah. how incredible this is going to be. Okay. Right. So I think we're pretty okay. well mixed there. All right. So now okay. we take our dressing 
give it just a quick little stir here. Let's make sure it's let's get this thing going well like blended this. here. Okay, so here we go. All right, that's going in to the tartare right there, the dressing. We're just gonna mix that up. I'm really hungry right now. Oh, it's looking so good. Mm. I got the crostini that's already been toasted. We did that right before we went on live. All right. So here's the tartare. There you With go. The dressing, ready to go. Looking really good, really good. All right. Okay. All right, smell this. Oh, that smells incredible. That is really, really good. Love it. Yep, yeah, you got it, okay. I'll get our crostini, so we'll get that going. Okay. And uh, we're gonna play that by for our crostini with John, which play we need the first. We're doing this, right? Yeah, we'll do that one right there. Okay, so there's our first plate. We're gonna go over here. Let me get this guy's over here a little bit. Okay. All right. Plate it up, and I've got our crostini. Okay. Right here. And those over. We're gonna do the three round ones. We got these to taste. We got the three round ones for our photography session that we're gonna be doing here. When we get done, so we've got our crostini, nice and done, perfectly round. <clears throat> Toasted wonderfully, a little bit of butter on there, and uh, I'll let you toast that up. This will be for our, our hand display. Yes. And then we'll do this for us. One more spoon here, guess. One more spoon. One more spoon. Another spoon. Here we go. Because I like to do it for the crostini side. Okay. That all going up good. Thanks for joining us today on the live. This is a lot of fun. We are having an incredible meal today, starting out with our bison tartare, and then we'll be moving on to our bison tenderloin. We've so, got three different sauces, and so we want to do the hand separate, or we want to do it like the traditional tartare where we fill up the little hole we'll here. Do traditional, so okay. We'll decorate it up. We'll we'll come back and we'll do plate the it fancy up. ones first. Okay, nice portion of the tartare into the ring. We tell Butcher, what's up? All right. All right, here we go. Here comes Pretty. I'm trying to rest a little bit. I did all the work earlier. John's doing all the work now. It's only fair. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Uh, oh, I know. God. Party foul. Man, party foul. Look at that. All okay. right. Okay. <clears throat> black truffle mousse. Yeah, black truffle mousse we made today. I'm sorry, not truffle. No, this black, is black, black garlic, garlic. <laughs> black garlic mousse that we're gonna put on the dish here for the sauce. We're gonna pop that up, and then I'm gonna add some. We're gonna add some 24 karat gold to that. We'll show you that up close. So we're gonna pump that out around the tartar, and this is all part of what we're doing today. Is the plating? Uh, we love food art, and that's one of the things that I'm starting to get into. Is a lot more food art. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, get this on here. However, John's gonna put it on and hopefully not demolish things. Not too much. I'm gonna slide it back in there. Not gonna, not gonna behave itself. It's a little thin. Normally it's a little colder. All right, well, if we don't succeed, oh. we try, try again. Things are never easy when you're doing it live. I would pack it in here. Let me, uh, let's, uh, let me pack this in real quick. I'll get that, I'm gonna pack it in, that's good. Let's do this real quick, and we're gonna try it again, you know? Gotta get it packed in there. Normally it sits in the refrigerator a little okay. bit longer. It's okay, we're gonna get it, yeah. we'll, we'll get it in there again. Yeah, let's get this. this will sit a little better. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pack it in here nice and tight so we can hold our crostini. And get that going. It's our tar. All right, we're going to pack this in there now. I think we'll be in good shape. Got it packed. All right. So let's go now and get this off. 
There we go. There we go. Okay. Now, take this. Let's just uh, let's do this. Let me get this on the edge here. Just like so. There, that'll work. There we go. Perfecto. All right. All right. So we got that on there. So we're going to, do you want to keep doing the uh, black garlic around? Um, I think just, we're good to just go? going to do the star like that. All right. The portion. Okay. Let's, uh, the let me get my, let me get my gold. Let me get my gold. Anybody knows my last name, it's got gold in it. So we're going to have to go for the gold. That's, that's a must. We're going to get this on here. We're going to show off this black garlic mousse. I want to get some garlic on there, some gold. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. Let's get another piece here going. Lovely, lovely, lovely. This is what I love. Presentation is everything to the stomach. And it makes things look great. I'm going to show you guys close up when this is all done. But we are looking good on the gold. All right. Get that going. Hang on a little more going. Everything's got to get gold on it. Down to the end here. And this is gonna make a really beautiful presentation. And I'm really excited that John was able to partner with the Bison Company so that we can get that going. And there we go, okay. So we have our gold done. Let me get close up on this. And we're gonna save this for all the pictures. We can get uh, this going. Put a little sprig in there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, okay, let's get this off here. So I'm gonna take this off the camera. I'm gonna get you guys close up. And flip the camera around so you guys can see our fantastic bison tartare. And here we go. Look at that, absolutely. What is it guys? You know the magic word, let's see it. Type it up. What is this? Absolutely scintillating. Look at that. Early boy, thanks for joining in. We have got some great stuff. This is our bison tartare that we have here. We'll do some pictures later. We've got the, uh, this is a black garlic mousse. This got 24 karat gold. We've got our bison tartare. We've got some fresh um, chive and we've got our crustini. So there you go, hope you guys enjoy that. And let's see, we're gonna, we're gonna do, oh, this is what, this is the fun part we get to do. Let me bring this up here. All right. All right. This is the true test. The true test. Okay, let's see here. Right. Back it out. All right, true test. I'm feeding the ukulele. Oh my God, John. Mm. Is it good? Is it good? Holy shit. Damn, it's good. <laughs> Damn. Wow. My turn. Holy cow. John, give it a taste. Thanks, Ben Boom Alone. All right. What do you think? That's unbelievable, isn't it? Incredible. Never had bison tartare, mm. ever. Have you had bison tartare? No, everybody's always worried about bison being too irony. Back. No, there's no, no irony. No iron in it at all. In this at all. I'm gonna flip this around again. It's so tender. It is incredibly tender. Mm. And uh, wow. again, John, beautiful, beautiful presentation on that black garlic. We got the 24 karat gold, our garlic mousse. Mm. And that is gonna be one hell of a mm. picture you guys want to screenshot that, this masterpiece, go ahead and leave here for one second. We're going to take this off and we're going to move it over. We're going to do some photography later on today, but this was absolutely amazing. Mm. So we're going to go ahead and work on the next thing. John, that was amazing. Wow. Let's I'm, go ahead and get that. That's, I'm impressed. Is this for the wife? Uh, no, that's going to be for our, uh, <laughs> that's for our planning. Oh, okay. Our photography. We're going to put go it in the fridge. Here. Put it in the fridge. Yeah. In the fridge? Yeah. Probably right. put this in the fridge too with some rack. Yeah. All right, we'll put stuff in, guys, as we go here. All right. Put the crustines on. You got the other stuff for the fridge? Uh, I think we're good to go for the next one here. All right. You got the tartar bowl for the fridge? All right. Go in the fridge. All right, next up, bone marrow mousse. Next up, we're doing the bone marrow mousse. This is killer. So oh, yeah. we'll talk about that. and. Uh, I turn it down, the caramel looks fantastic. Yeah, everything looks good. This is our mousse right here. Yep. Oh, uh, no, that's the, uh, that's our, uh, parsnip. Yeah. Might need just a tiny bit of water because we've been neglecting it for the mousse. Yeah. Okay, here we go. All right. 
So this is a bone marrow moose. Bone marrow moose is uh, um, uh, bone marrow, but it's got a few other things. So the idea is, is we want to have uh, uh, sauces um, and products within the bone marrow that is going to allow air to get into it. So we want air to get into the milk molecules. And so we're going to use a little bit of yogurt and a little bit of heavy cream. Um, you could use buttermilk, but um, I think uh, just heavy cream will go a little bit better uh, with this. So let's get started with that. So th this is just so you can see, this is a parsnip. Uh, this was wood fired outside. We've got some video of that. Yeah. This is a, a parsnip sauce or a mousse, and it's really, really incredible. This is going to go with the, one of the sauces with beef tenderloin. Mm -hmm. All right. So what we did just before everything started is uh, uh, did a bunch of shallots and butter. And so that's the first thing we're gonna do is take our marrow here and we're gonna put it into the uh, Cuisinart. Chef Joe Matt, thanks for joining us. Yep. Today we're doing the bison tartare, which we just plated up and showed. And we're now gonna be doing uh, some bison with some sauces and John is now gonna be doing the, is this the, uh, this is the bone marrow mousse. Bone marrow mousse that we're gonna be making. So this is the bone marrow. Some of the oil from the marrow from earlier today that I just put in there. We're gonna add our uh, butter and shallot that we put off. Smoke, why don't we do the smoke butter if we have it? Don't forget about that. The what? The smoke oh, butter. it goes in at the very yeah, end. The first, smoke okay. butter's in the freezer. Yeah, check it out. No, we'll just put it in right at the very end. Because right. um, that will, add creaminess to the, all right, put this back on the stove. We did about 16 pieces of bone marrow today. Oh, so good. That was incredible. All right, so uh, next we're gonna do the, uh, um, where's my, oh, so this is uh, cider. This has uh, some white balsamic and, uh, uh, you know what, we didn't put the apple cider vinegar in it. You didn't put the apple cider vinegar in I didn't put the apple cider vinegar in You want to put the apple cider vinegar in it? Just a little dash. I'm sitting here thinking I didn't put the apple cider vinegar in this. That's See, what happens. I got, I got a That's what I happens. I got to watch you like a hawk, I know. Man. I know. Jeez. Did you do that when you operate on people? Oh, I, I, shit, I forgot that inside I left the, the I left the sponge. I left the sponge. Never. <laughs> never, ever will happen. I think we're little good. more. A little, little more. A little, mm -hmm. little more. There we go. All right. There we go. All right. So, this is... Uh, some chicken stock, apple cider, apple cider vinegar, and some white balsamic. John is the surgeon, by the way, PA surgeon. So that's why we joke. Um, <laughs> he won't admit it, but I, I, I know he's less some shit people. I guarantee. You. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get me in trouble. Uh, let's see. We need just a dash of wine here. Dash of wine. Uh, Where did I put it? Did you drink it all? Nope, it's right here. The good stuff. Okay. Show me that wine. Some people were putting it in. Let's just show them the wine. Okay. Wine. So this is from Jesse's Grove. This is a Lodi uh, vineyard. They put out some pretty amazing products here. 2007 Lodi. It's got 17.8% alcohol. This is Jessica's Grove or Jesse's Grove Sweet Indulgence. It is a white dessert wine. Yeah. So pretty I much just it. a white port. Don't put much in, but just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a dash. Just a dash. Okay. All right. And then the, here we go. This is the um, sour cream and the cream mixed together. And mom alone, creamy bone soup. That sounds delicious. Oh, that does sound good. Very good. All right. And then the top. The top. Where did I got the blade in there? Forgot yeah. where the top was at. Put it right over here. Aha. Back side there. Okay. There we go. All right. Oh. Other way. Other way. Oh, oh, other way. No, no, no. Oh, swing around. There you there go. go. <laughs> How many guys does it take to put a Cuisinart together? Exactly. <laughs> Fighting this damn thing all day. I need to get a different one. All right. Here all right. we go. A little noisy. Sorry, everybody. Oh, oh okay. The oh, shit's leaking. It's broken. Who 
we just run it for a little bit here. You and healthy kids, how you doing? Sorry for the noise, we're, uh, we're blending some stuff here real quick. We're making a sauce, we've actually, I think we've got three sauces and a mousse. This is actually gonna be our, uh, this is gonna be our nitrous injected mousse. And I smoked this, this is smoked butter that we smoked. I smoked this earlier, uh, about an hour with uh, hickory smoke underneath the smoking dome. We got so many mousses and sauces we've been making. This is the bone marrow mousse coming up. Alright. Take that going. Looks pretty good. Let's see here. What do you think? We need a fresh yeah. spoon. I didn't wash these other okay. ones off here. I'll get you a fresh spoon. Okay. There we go. Boy, I can tell you right now. Right, awesome, huh? Oh. Nothing like it. Like it. Nothing like it. Smoky, marrowy flavor. All right, let me get my spoon to try it out. See how it's doing. A little taste here. Oh, that looks oh, nice and creamy. Wow, it's super it's creamy. Like a mousse. I mean, it's yeah. creamy. some butter in there. So let's see. I'll show them we got. Look at this. Look how fluffy this is. Fantastic. Super. The mousse right there. Texture is just silk. silk. Just silk. Oh, my God. Mm. It is literally like just a silky, marrowy melts in your mouth there's not any really yeah like roughness to the texture it's it's super smooth yeah i mean it's definitely a mousse fantastic wow mm. i didn't think it like this now we just eat that so okay so we have to i mean we can either get another bowl or wash this one out really quick we just have bit. to strain it really quick to make sure we don't okay. have any chunks in there All right. and then we stick it into your your noisy place can't hear anything but wanted to say hi fueling healthy kids hey good to see you Check it out now. Have fun. All right, so we'll go on now. We'll wash this out. We'll wash that out. Yep. And then we will strain it. And um, we should probably, you want to heat it? You want to do it cold? Yeah. It's actually room temperature, I think we're fine. Okay. We're good to go. All right. Clean bowl coming up. There you go. All right. Here comes the fun part. I can't even grip it. There we go. Okay. This slides right off the blades, too. I mean, look at that. This slides. Yep. Fantastic. Yeah, we're all done with that. I'll take that. Okay. Right. Mm. Now, we'll be going out to the uh, wood fire oven here shortly. We're going to finish off some stuff in the wood fire oven. many things going on. It's been a long day. It has been a long day. I don't think we get much coming out of that. Probably don't need to strain it. I think it's good. Probably just put it right into the... Moosey. Yeah. So I think we can put it right in. Oh, there you go. That's usually what we end up doing. Yeah, scrape off the back end. Yeah. Well, I can just do that. Oh, we can just put it in here and done, right? Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Slide process. We're going to actually put this in and injecting it with nitri nitrous oxide, NO2, not CO2, because that's what they make soda water with. And we don't want to make soda water. So it's going to be pretty good. All right. <laughs> See how it comes out. Thanks for joining. Hello, Ferrari. Thanks for joining us. We're doing a, uh, a mousse right now. This is a bow and marrow mousse. We roasted the bow and marrow, opened, or actually, a no, wood fire outside earlier. We've got some video of that. Uh, post a couple stories. You'll see the wood fire oven going with the bow and marrow in it. 
And right now we're gonna charge this up with a couple canisters and see if we can get our mousse to come out. Let me tell you, it's a challenge. Two people working in the kitchen, it's gotta be like clockwork. And uh, John and I have been passing each other and each doing different things. It's been really a great day, fun day. Um, I made a, a beet caramel sauce mm -hmm. that we'll show you coming up. That thing is mind blowing. Beet caramel sauce is fantastic. And uh, I think we're almost ready to go to charge this up. Let's clean that up on the edges and, all right, let me get this going here. Let me go ahead and get this ready and charge it and we'll see what happens. You have to do a couple charges, but hopefully it's gonna come out really, really It's gonna come out really foamy. Really foamy. Okay, here we go. <coughs> All right, caps off. And I need to get my uh, my injector out of here. Everyone's having a great day. We're having a good time. You guys are gonna see some really different cool things that I haven't seen before. That's the idea today. So we're gonna get this going. All right, we've got a charge in here. I wanna charge it up. Ready, John? Charge it. Charging it up, here we go. This is the point where you put out the, uh, anything that happens. There we go, uh, that's one charge in. Because of the charger. So we just do two charges? Just just, there. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's no reflection on me. Okay, <laughs> so we got no reflection on John. There you go, one charge is in. NO2 right there. We got a second charge that's going in right now. It's like the military guys, you know, it's like, duck! Is that a thing? Yeah. Flashbacks, <laughs> flashbacks, okay. All right, here we go, next charge is going in. Let's see, Oh. okay, here we go. All right, second charge is in. I'm gonna go ahead and see how this is. I'm gonna test it out. Okay, we're the charge. All right, second charge is in. Have to, is that, is that? Yeah. I'll go ahead and test this out here real quick. Probably have to turn it upside down and get yep. a couple good taps. Yep, we'll do that and get that ready to go here. All right. Okay. Slow trigger pull. Hit this right here? Yep, slow trigger pull. Here pole. we go. Let me fucking slow trigger pull. Slow I'm gonna, trigger I'm pull. Faster. I want to see moose just flying all over this <laughs> All right. So here we go. Ready? Let's see. Hopefully it's gonna work. Cool. Yep, sounds good. Let's see here. Uh oh. Come on, let's see if it's gonna work. I think we may need another charge. Oh, oh it's coming. There we go. Gonna prime it up. I think we need another charge. Might have been a little thick. Yep, I think we need one more charge too. Take one more charge? Yep, and okay. we'll do one, more, one more charge. We, gotta, we, we, have, we don't have a lot of volume of liquid, that's the reason, so we're gonna do the charge in it. But it did come out there. You think? Yeah. It's a little watery. Yeah, well, if the charge is here, we may, we may need actually four charges. Because we have, we have a little, you put such a little amount in there. I think we're gonna have to do it again. So we're charging this up right here, our nitrous canister. And that's all charged. I think we're gonna do it. Have to do another one. All right. Ayers, thanks for joining us. Getting this mousse ready here. So I just charged a third. And let's we'll see. That does it. If not, we can go for the fourth. We got a lot of them. And let's uh, let's see here. We're doing. This going. All right, it should do it. Let's go, let's see, are you ready? Oh. Nope. Probably too thick. Yeah. Nope, not coming out. Trying, 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 trying. Oh, there we go. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. Made it watery. Yeah, a little, little watery. Moves. We can actually, we can play it up. We can do that. We can use this. It's usable. All right. All right. 
let's, let's clear that off. We'll get another one and we're gonna plate up our, so our bison with our plating. We'll use our mousse, it is usable. Oh, it would taste delicious. So and uh, yep, yeah. so next we're gonna do is we're gonna sear the bison. Let's take a look at this. I'm gonna open this up so you guys can see this. And we'll open this bison up and take a look and see how we're doing. For everybody on Instagram, we're gonna go ahead and open this up. Oh man, you can smell the smoke. Wow, smell that, John. Look at that. Smell that? Oh yeah. It's gonna be good. Beautiful. It's gonna be good. All right, got my meat stick that was in here. Monitor my temps, went to about 115. And would you like to do the wood fire outside here or do you want to do it right in here? I think we should do it outside on a cast iron. Cast iron, yep. Yeah. You agree? Do we okay. got a cast iron big enough? We have a cast iron over here, big enough. Okay, so let's see that. Take, take, some, out. take yeah. some of that out, but leave some of it in to roast yeah. it, keep it nice and... Okay. This is actually from the bone marrow. Yeah. All right. So we're going, we're getting another cast iron ready right real quick. And we're going to go outside. It should be good. Okay. So we're going to take this outside with you in the camera. I'm going to go ahead and... <clears throat> so this... Oh, this is uh, this is the oil from the bone marrow when we roasted it out. We're gonna get some bone marrow. It's just like having wonderful tallow. It's got tons of flavor in it. It will help keep the tenderloin from. If you want to do the honors and get the, the leather glove out there. Okay. And I'm gonna take everybody with me. So we're gonna go on Instagram out to the wood fire and get that going. And I think we'll be ready to go. So let me get my camera up with everybody. You can follow me out to the backyard of the wood fire oven and we will get this bison going. Here we go. So here's our beautiful tenderloin, bison tenderloin going on. We're gonna go outside now. Take you out to the wood fire oven. And we're gonna get this and some bone marrow, cast iron, about 600 degrees on that. And uh, there we go. And Tuesday, this is after Get that going. We can do the cast iron in here, which will be great. Let's get the cast iron going here, John. Ready to go. All right. Here's our sauce. This is our beet caramel sauce we're going to be using. So this is, oh, look, look, how, look how thick that got. Yeah, that's that gorgeous. That is fantastic. That's gorgeous. Beet caramel sauce. It's great. We got our, <coughs> our chocolate demi glaze, chocolate pork production demi glaze. We're going to heat this up now. We're going to get our cast iron nice and hot. And John, I, I got this through some up here. This is our yep. parsnip mousse as well. Okay. We're heating up. This is bone marrow right here. Just going to be incredible for our sear. Got our tenderloin right here that we're going to sear up on all the sides. John's beautiful custom knife that he oh, I love that brought thing. over. What a piece of artwork. Absolutely stunning. Look at that handle. Is this for the missus? That looks so good. All right. Sure, yeah, absolutely. All right. Okay, so things are melting up here. Where was the leather sleeve, John, for the cast iron? Uh, 
Now I'm down. We'll be right here in just a few minutes. And we have had a hell of a day cooking here. Lots going on. We did our tartare, which was amazing. We'll get pictures of that. And we've been having a great time. We're going to have a big meal. We're doing some potatoes afterwards. So we just didn't have time to do it. The live. Where's the leather sleeve that was on us? It's probably sitting on the pan outside. I'll grab it because I need that yeah. to do that. All right. I'm going to get some of our herbs in here as well. Got some rosemary. We're going to throw in that pan. Get the sear. <laughs> flavor on that. You eat it at least. Put a little bit in there. There. Perfect. Thank you, Chef. Thank you, Chef. Thank you, Chef. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let this get going. And I want this really hot. Super, super hot. For the tiny long. Get our herbs going here a little bit. That's a nice thing. The bone marrow oil does not burn. Yeah, bone marrow oil can get raging hot. We're going full max on this. So we're going to go up to probably close to 700 degrees, we're looking for. And what's everybody else doing today? Curious, what are you guys cooking? We're going to like about almost uh, 7 o'clock Eastern time, 6.45 Eastern time. <coughs> ben Malone, love and rosemary. Yeah, it's great, for, uh, especially with the bone marrow and everything going. <coughs> Get it really, really hot. What are you guys drinking? How do you drink? All right. I'll let you get a camera. Oh, oops. I'll let you get a camera man. Okay. Okay. You gonna do that? Get that going on? We'll do this at the same time. Okay, I'm gonna get some garlic in there too. I threw a little garlic in there. Right. Why not? Rosemary loves garlic. That's right, it does. I got another pan going on. We use text flat for most of our stuff today uh, for all of our sauces, and then we made our mousse and some other things. We're using some lodge cast iron. And John's gonna get some spinach going for our plating with our beautiful tenderloin right here. And then uh, Bobalone, finishing season chicharron. Ready with a butt to finish. Fantastic. Get a little seasoning here, a little fresh brown black pepper. I'm gonna put this on. Use the noise, our fan. All right. Gracie, thanks for joining us. Gracie Ann, just join. My daughter. Your daughter, okay, great. Hi, Gracie. <laughs> All right, so we got things going on here. All right, you're ready to switch it up. Yeah, let's switch it up. Let's get some here. Let's see where it's going to go. We've got our rosemary going. Get nice and brown quick, okay, that's good. That's good. Yeah, garlic's going to be right good yeah, here. This going, we're gonna we'll just put you up. I'll have you put that in. Yep, I'll move the camera and you can do it. Get the line at the meat. Let me check the cup real quick. I want to make sure we're put into where to go. Get my IR gun out here and uh, let's see where we're at. So, still a little bit to go. We're not that hot. We're still at 482, almost 500. A little low on this side, so let's go a couple, couple more minutes. Okay. I want to get this really, really super hot for the sear. So we're going to do that on high. Uh, a lot of a lot of mistakes people make is they don't let their pan, they get impatient, they don't let their pan heat up enough. Yep. We want to get that sear to just seal that outside right away. Um, so look, looking good. Uh, all right, so we go. We do that. Like the little ones here. All right. Check our temps. I want to be like 550. So we're almost 503, 508. Okay, we're getting, we're getting there. We're getting there. Looking good. Oh my god, look at that. Wow. That looks beautiful. Great. Good. We're extracting all the oil out of the rosemary. And uh, that's done. So I'm take that out. Garlic on. Okay, all right, ready? All right. All right, we'll do this to you so we can get on this. I'm going to start getting this going. Now we'll take this tray off so we can get 
bison tenderloin. Looks fantastic. Fantastic. There we go. Get that side. Look at the color. Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to do some zoodles. Look at this. We've got some zoodles going on. You guys ever do zoodles? Love it. Doing some zoodles zucchini. And we got a, a chocolate pork sauce right there. Deme glaze, which we for the bites on. We've got another mousse right here. We're getting this going on. Absolutely delicious. John's been working hard today. Both, both working hard. Both, both sharing. Turn it up. And then we're at. There we go. That's 560. There we go. There we go. Five nine. Yeah, perfect. Yes, we want to do. Of course, 600. All right. Beautiful yeah. car on the outside. So we're doing on this. Okay, we're at 112. Outside here is a about one fourteen fifteen. And we're about one. One 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 two. We're just gonna get it up to probably. It was up to about one fifteen. We took it off and rested, so it's probably well cooked inside. Uh, we're gonna do it a little bit on the rare, medium rare side. The bison. This is just looking. Insane. Getting that crust. Always keep turning, rotating, cooking it evenly. We're getting that crust. Look at that. Look at that side here. There you go. Beautiful, beautiful color. What do you guys want? <laughs> what do you guys want? All right. We're waiting for the spillage. We want the spinach. We want the spinach. Yeah, yeah. we want the spinach. All right. Uh oh. Cooked with food says Google for such foundation and main dish. Uh oh, what? We'll have to set up. Set up a little bit. The caramel. It's okay. You just take a second to rewarm it. Put on the back on there. This one. Put on the back. Turn on. Okay. Yeah, my boy's got to be hot. Okay. Oh, look at so good. Look at that crust. We have got the crust is a must. Yes, indeed. Crust is a must. This is how you do it. Be careful. This is only for trained professionals. <laughs> yeah. Get the corners all evenly around. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Absolutely scintillating. Let's get a close up of this. Look at that. Look at that, huh? Rob Barbie says, Dear Lord, the crust. The crust. Yes. Yeah. We're almost ready to get this left with the rest. Take a look at our temp here. Dead center. Okay. Getting there. There's six feet. Patience is a virtue. Patience is a virtue. Now, I like feeling it to make sure that I can feel that crust, that hard crust rolling, and there's not, nothing sticking. That's what I'm looking for. So, almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Now we'll cut it up. Lights are on the rest for a few minutes. Wow. Alright. Honey? There you go. We got some yeah. sauce already good. Yeah. Alright, we're, we're good. good. We're good. We're going to take it off and let it rest right here. Oh, yeah. Alright, we got the stove off. Always call your stoves off for safety. There's the garlic in the back. That's shot. It's gone. Garlic is. Adios. All right. We've got our zoodles going over here. We're going to have that plate up. Tender one the restroom. Looks like it's just a, a warm center, not super hot. We've got our spinach over here. We've got our beet caramel sauce. These are done. And the zoodles are done. Okay. So, I'm going to 
start cleaning up. You can get this or start just about there. Okay. Some butter in there or something? Yeah, put a little bit of that smoked butter in there. Alright. Alright, so this is our caramel sauce. It's a beet caramel sauce. We actually so savory caramel. Savory caramel. If there's a such thing. But it's it's really beet caramel sauce. It's uh, we took some beets, we had them in a sealed pack like sous vide. We had those cooking for hours inside of our hex clad one quart pan, and then we took that out and took all the juice out. We blended up the beets, extracted all the juice. We then added a half a cup of white sugar, a half a cup of brown sugar. We did a couple squeezes of uh, lemon juice on that, and then we reduced it down to our caramelization, which is where we wanted things, and it's looking that's amazing. And again, you can't do this in another pan that has metal in it like this, where yeah, it's not sticking. Exactly. I mean, this, this pan, next clad, is completely non-stick. Uh, if you scrape it, you can see that it just goes clear. There's nothing sticking in this pan. I will wipe this out, I'll put it in the sink with water, wash it out. You don't even have to scrub it. And that's why I have loved my hex pad for over five years. Tim, thanks for joining, brother. We are almost ready to plate. We've got the beef for the uh, bison tenderloin. It's right here, right here, gonna cut up. We've got some zoodles right here, some zucchini. We've got our spinach. We've got our uh, parsnip mousse here in the back as well. This is, this tastes amazing. And this is our, this is our chocolate pork demi-glaze sauce. We're gonna be plating that up as well with our bison. Okay. All right, so I think I'm gonna get ready to start cutting out. Okay. I'll, I'll plate up, do you wanna hold this? Yeah, so let me put this down over here. Yeah, you can switch, we'll switch camera hands here. What do you, um, there. Okay, all right. I was going to say, do you want to hook it back up to that? Uh, yeah, we can do that. Let me get this over here because we're going to use my big cutting board. Okay. All right. Let's get this going over here. We'll get you guys hooked back up so you can see everything close up. And we'll get that flipped over on the camera. Wow. There we go. And I'm going to get the bison over here so we can start cutting it up. And you guys can see that. So we will get this down. All righty. Pictures of this. I got that. Okay. Don't mind me. Absolutely. Let's get some lights on so we can see, everybody can see here what's going on. Hopefully, we get some good lighting for everybody there on IG. Get this out of the way. And I'm going to go for my, uh, I'm going to go for my big slicer. I'm pulling out my big, my big F dick. Uh, no, I'm serious. My That's favorite my, knife. My big F dick right there. I'm going to use that to cut up. And uh, matter of fact, it is hilarious. Davidson Butcher Supply just got on, and this is where I got my big, my big F dick. All right. So we're going to go ahead and cut this up. Looks great. Foster Feast, thanks for joining us. we got some beautiful, it's our tenderloin right here, bison tenderloin. Get some light for it because the kitchen and the lighting's so so. Absolutely gorgeous crust on this. We're gonna go ahead and get this cut open. I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see this. And then we're gonna do our plating. Got our juices coming out. Everything's looking good. Let's go ahead and get you zoomed in a little bit here. All right. So we can uh, get them right there. And I'm gonna take this out here. And this, this, I mean, look, look at it, listen. Let me show off the fans so you can hear this. All right, fans off. Listen to this. Isn't that crust? Absolutely fantastic. So we're gonna go and uh, I think we're gonna we're gonna do this for our plating. Yeah. I like I like the size and shape of this. Let's do let's do it so, good. Yeah, we're gonna do a thick one. I'm gonna do two, a couple pieces on this. We can. You want to start on the end? The end, or what, how do you want me to cut it? Either way. I was gonna say do like a two inch. Yeah. Okay. How about like right like this? Yeah. I think okay. that'd be great. All right. Here's one. Here we go. Oh yeah. Oh, wow. look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. You guys see that? I'm gonna zoom in, look at that. That is, that is how we want the bison. Nice, medium rare, beautiful pink center. Let me get off, of course, get you guys up to this over. 
And <clears throat> take a look at that. There we go. Fantastic. I'm going to go ahead and cut this tip off a little bit. And we're going to go ahead and plate this up. So I'm going to go ahead and take this here and we're going to get a piece of the end going. John, let's do the honor. Look at it. It's so juicy. I mean, this is. Yeah. I mean, look at this. Can you guys see this? Look at the, the juice. It is amazing. That's that sear that you get on there. And John, we have got to we have got to do the honors on this. Yes. Let's get, let's get some uh, some bite sized pieces so we don't look like we're chomping around here. All right. So let's take a taste real quick. Let's go for it. Oh my God. Wow. This is amazing. Let me get this here so you guys can see. Go ahead, take a taste. Wow, the rub is incredible. Wow. What do you think? That is really good. Absolutely fantastic. It is definitely a tenderloin. Wow. I mean, bison, wow. all things. Um, I think this actually almost tastes better than a beef tenderloin. The flavor is incredible. The flavor is intense. Incredible. Yeah. Okay, so next, I'm gonna get, we're gonna plate this up. So I'm gonna do my plating. I'm gonna do this on this. So I'll, I'll use some zoodles. I'm gonna go ahead and get this plated up for everybody. So and then we'll show you <laughs> All right. the plating as I do this, get this going. And uh, you got that over for people on YouTube. Let me flip this around, get you guys down. We got a little remote control here going on. All right, here we go for the plating. So I'm gonna get some zoodle. And that is hot, so I'm gonna get my <coughs> towel here. All right, so here's our zoodles right here. And we use our form for that, John. Yep, yep, use the form. I love it. Okay, so we're gonna use our form. Here we go. We're gonna carefully get our zoodle in our form. All right, do a little bit more here. I like packing my form so everything is nice and firm in there. All right. Okay, John, I think we're good to go. Okay, so we got that going. And uh, I'm gonna take the form off there, get the beef on there. We'll put the beef on. Yeah, mm -hmm. we'll next. Mm -hmm. So let me take this off here. Beautiful. Next, we're gonna take our tenderloin. I'm gonna set this just gently on top, like that. We're going for the uh, the chocolate port demi-glaze sauce that John is gonna put around the uh, the dish. So we're gonna go and plate this up as we go around and get that demi-glaze sauce, which will be great to dip the tenderloin in as you're eating it, along with the zoodle. And then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go ahead and get this going here. I'm looking for my wood tongs. Oh, wood tong went. My gold. You see that now? Oh, I don't know what tong went. Okay, well. That's that. Okay, demo base is on. And I think that's good for that. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and get some some gold flake on here. Some spice of demo glaze. We have to do the mousse. Yep, we got the mousse we have to do. That's not gonna come out well on that, I don't think. Let's give it a try. So let's let's do it something else different here first to test it. So on the mousse. We tried to charge a mousse, I think it was a little thick, and I don't think it's gonna come out. So no. Well, a little watery. It's, I don't like the look. Yeah, it's, it's not coming out. So we're gonna we're not gonna we're not gonna worry about that. Let's do some uh you want our, let's do our parts of the mousse. Do you want to recharge it and see if we can get yeah. something out? Uh, no. How okay. We'll do this. All right. I'm going to take, so this is another mousse. Always have a, have a backup here. This is a parsnip mousse, which is really delicious. I think what we're going to do is I'm going to actually take some of this. Put it in picking bag. And I'm going to mousse go right on the top. So we'll go right on the top right here. So we're going to get our mousse on this, just like so. And uh, that's, uh, that's going on real nice. Okay. Get a little bit more, build up some ele elevation on this for the mousse, because we're gonna, this is a parsnip, so vegetables are gonna go very well together. Looks fantastic. Now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna finish off here with um, some 24 karat gold leaf. Get some pop on here going. I don't know what happened to my, my tong. We've got disaster going in the kitchen as always. But I always have backups, and you should always be ready to go. 
and plan on things missing. So we're ready to rock and roll without delay. I'm gonna go ahead now, I'm gonna get this on here. I've got some 24 karat gold. I'm gonna go ahead and sit on here as well. Perfect, across the top, just like that. We'll get some of this going in our demi-glaze as well. So we're gonna put this on, I'm gonna get some flakes going in there. And this is going to look absolutely amazing. Okay. And we'll get this. We're going to put this on the outside right on here. Like so. And this is 24 karat gold leaf. So we're just going to add some around. And you don't have to push it in. Just let it go so it's like three-dimensional. Uh, if it sits on the top and elevates, that's, that's fantastic to do that. And we're going to go ahead and put it all around like so. And this is going to really pop and really show off the dish. And we had a part on the back end that's kind of a bigger part hanging out. Don't worry about it. We put the gold on it and it just looks fantastic. So there we go. We've got little our little gold. A little bit of leak. And uh, we put a little bit of some it's a leak, oil. leak oil on there. Going around. Fantastic. And I think we are done with our tenderloin dish. Let's take a look everybody and see what you think. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take this off here. And we'll flip the camera around so we can get up close. Oops, sorry, John. You're fine, you're fine. Okay, oops. Camera's going here, we're gonna flip it around so everybody can see what we're doing, and here we go. Here is the beef tenderloin. Let me get the light, John, excuse me. Yeah. We'll get that going, put that aside, here we go. And there we have the camera flipping around. Here we go. And there we have our fantastic bison tenderloin. We've got our chocolate pork got my glaze sauce. We've got our parsnip mousse. We have our zoodle zucchini with some oil on the outside. Leak oil. Mm -hmm. Leak oil on the outside. Mm -hmm. So what do you guys think about that dish? This is pretty, looks pretty good, pretty good. <clears throat> Let me get this here. And we're gonna take some pictures of this a little bit later, but we've got that going in there. Absolutely fantastic. Barbecue Man says incredible, out of the park. I think this really sets itself off here. Uh, the juice coming out from the, the tenderloin is just amazing. Uh, you'll be able to take a bite of this, cut it up, and we're gonna put this aside for photos. And then we have another plating coming up. So hang tight here while we do this. The next plating is going to be with a beef caramel sauce. So we're gonna go ahead and get that on next. And I'll get it sliced up. Let me put this aside. And we're gonna flip the camera around again for your viewing pleasure. And we'll show everybody this one final time this before we go. Fun one. This is the tenderloin, 24 karat gold with the mousse, the zoodle. So we'll take this out as well for pictures. Put some over here. And I'm going to cut up another tenderloin slice. All right. So we're going to go ahead and hit that up again. Put this over here. I'm gonna go for another slicer on the tenderloin. This one's gonna be beautiful. Should I do a couple of slices? Do like a trio maybe across this? You could do, uh, how about a duo? A duo? A duo. I like odd numbers. Okay, okay, we're gonna do three. We're gonna do three. <clears throat> you want me to, I'm gonna swipe the plate if I were. You can, if you wanna get it ready, that's fine. Yeah, there. yeah. Okay, so we're gonna do a trio of tenderloin. So that's gonna come up next. The juice on this is just amazing. Love that the plate, John, that's fantastic. And let me know when you're ready, take your time. So we've got the beet caramel. We're doing the demi-glace. This is a uh, chocolate pork demi-glace on here. Oh, that looks so good. Fantastic. I'm gonna go ahead now and get the plating going. One second. We got one more thing here to do. Where's the little one? The little ring. The little ring. I have a little ring. John wants a little ring. I need a little ring. Okay, we'll get we'll wait for the little ring. There we go. All right. Here we go. Wow, the juice is just I mean, look. pouring out of it. Oh yeah, look at look at this. You see, I can't see it dripping. It's just, oh, oh yeah, it's just amazing. Okay. All right. Okay. 
So I love plating food. You guys are gonna see a lot more plating. I think that's what really kind of sets things apart. We did some fantastic, really fresh spinach. That we're, <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and plate up as well in there. John's trying to get it going. Is this like surgery? Yeah, like, oh, much, much harder, heavier. much harder, much harder than surgery. That's right. All right, yeah, I'll just, let's, yeah you can let's get it going. We'll get this in there. All right, <clears throat> got to make sure it all gets in there. We're gonna pack it down a little bit. We're gonna get a form going for our spinach. All right, put, the next put another one. one on top of it. Okay, here we go. We do two of them, or do three of them? Three for one for each okay. tenderloin. All right. One minute. There you go. All right, perfect. Oh, that was a good shot right there. Okay, and I got one more coming. Practice right? makes perfect. One more coming, okay? There we go. We got the last one going in. All right. Got it going. Got it. All right. And we're all done with that. So we'll take our third one there. Now we're going to go ahead and take our tenderloin. We're going to set that down like so. Like so. Juicy, juicy, juicy. It's gonna get set down like so. And the next one's gonna get going as well. God, I mean, this thing is just dripping. It is unbelievable. And then we're gonna get this one like so. All right, so we got our three tenderloins right there. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. And uh, let's get it going on there. How about I'm gonna go with a little dollop of this too on top. That's sure. Go ahead, you wanna go ahead and do the uh, black. This is a black garlic. Maybe. Maybe we'll pile some up on the end of the tenderloin, actually, too. You want to put it on the tenderloin? Yeah, it's on the tenderloin. With okay. some black, this is a black garlic uh, paste, if you will. And uh, we, we made this today as well. This is really fantastic stuff. It's probably coagulating because we had it sitting in the tube. There you go. All right. So, oh, that's looking fantastic. Love it. Love it. And I'm going to get another little spoon. We're going to finish this off with another bit of juice next to it. Okay. Use one of my plating tools for this. So we're going to take this and we're going to finish plating up the tenderloin here. I'm actually going to do a line right across, like so. Just like so. It's a little line right across. Okay, I'm going to do another line over here. And we'll show you guys this close up. This is gonna be this looks really, really, really amazing. All right. We got one more line coming on this way. And you know, I like to do diagonals, you know, not squares. Get a nice stripe going. This is a really great parsnip. Or this is a yeah, this is parsnip, right? Parsnip and leek. Parsnip and leek. <clears throat> uh, made. So we got that on there, and these flavors combine with these sweet black garlic. You've got the caramel in the bottom, and I think. We're done. I'm gonna actually throw some more gold on here. Final finale. Yeah. Okay. I was gonna streak it a little bit more. Go ahead, you can streak it. Streak a little, it. Little more demi glaze. Streak a little more demi glaze. Streak on it. Demi glaze is going on. Okay. Kind of xing it out. You get the best of both worlds there. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get some gold flake on there. Put that right on there, across. Get this on across as well, here we go. All right, that's gonna go on across as well there, like so. Where's your flowers? You know, I got the flower, some edible flowers on it. Okay, and that's gonna finish it off for this plating. Okay. I think it looks good. And we'll add um, that there. You don't need too much. All right. So we'll do with that. And then we will add some flowers. Add the flowers here where the flowers go. They're over here. Okay. okay. All righty. So we got this going here. And we're going to add some, uh, we're going to add some contrast. So we're gonna go with some, go with some yellow, some pansies. We're gonna throw one of these up here in the corner and get going with that. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna put this up in the corner. We're gonna go with another one. We'll take some orange in this corner right here with some purple. 
And then uh, again, you want odd numbers. Uh, the human eye just loves odd, not even. We have a nice, small, pretty one here that I'm gonna put right down here like so. Lift it up and that's it, we'll be good to go. Let me show, show them every day. I'll show you guys the plating. And we'll look at this next one. This one again, we're gonna flip it around for you so you can see everything really well. And we got our lights going. And here is our tenderloin. Plate it up. Got our, we've got our black garlic sauce. We've got our parsnip mousse on here. We've got our, the, the demi-glaze, which is a uh, chocolate pork demi-glaze that was reduced out of bone marrow. We've got our fresh spinach base on the bottom. We've got some edible flowers, and we've got it on the bottom base finished off with some beet caramel sauce. Hope you guys like this. This is plating number two. Absolutely fantastic. We've got our 24 karat gold leaf on there as well. Take the glare off. Hopefully that's a little bit better for you. And let's take a look on this side. <clears throat> really something else. Uh, looks fantastic, John. It just that's it. amazing. Okay, so. That's and, actually plating number three, I think. That's plate, that's we count the tartar. Well, that's the tartar, that's three. So we're gonna do another one here? We'll do, we can do one more. Okay, we got one more we're gonna do. So let's go ahead and flip the camera around while we plate up the next dish. And appreciate you guys being patient with us here. We're gonna do that bistro we're gonna, style. We're gonna do that bistro style. And we'll let John play up the next one. I'm gonna take this in to the photography area for our photos. All right. And John can start playing that. So we're just gonna do a little bistro style plating instead of more fancier. I mean, bistro can be fancy, but it's usually more about kind of just putting everything together in a nice combination of flavor. Uh, that matches well. And so I'm gonna take, I just reheated and actually added a little bit of that smoked butter to the uh, parsnip puree. We're just gonna put a nice little dollop of that down in the center there. <clears throat> and then we'll take our zoodles right here. We're gonna give a nice little side of the zoodles off of that. Cut you a piece of tenderloin. Cut me a nice piece of tenderloin and lay it in there. I'll let you do on a Jean. I played the two. You can go ahead and plate this up. Okay. <coughs> take it and take it. All right. So we're going to take the tenderloin. We're going to lay it right in the center with that beautiful puree. Beautiful. Let it flow. Let it flow. That's it. Unfortunately, it probably covers the nice redness of that meat a little bit, but I think go. that it, let me grab the little, little sprig here. A little sprig of rosemary. I grabbed the wrong end of those. Got some chive action some chives, going on. Some chives just for All right. texture. All right, we're all set? I think so. All right, here's the next plating, folks. Bistro style from John Huntington. There you go. You guys can see this really well. Can't see the comments, but we'll look here in a second. So this again, the beef tenderloin. <laughs> We've got the zoodles, some rosemary, some chives on top with that incredible chocolate pork demi-glace sauce. And on the bottom, we have our parsnip. What was with our parsnips? Uh, leeks. Leeks. Our parsnips and leek puree down there. So that's great. And show again. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's, let me, yeah, you hold that and I'll, I'll get in so we can yeah. actually, they can actually see this and get this up. So over. again, the bison came from uh, the Honest Bison. You can find them at thehonestbison.com. Again, sustainable 
wonderful, beautiful beef uh, that is um, free range grass fed uh, bison. Absolutely amazing uh, flavor. I can't tell you how this tastes because it's beyond any um, tenderloin that I've ever had for beef. Damn, who cooked that today? I don't know. Some guy named Ukulele, I don't know. <laughs> Damn! Perfection, I <clears throat> love it. The governor. The governor. The governor has governor's cooked. in the house. The Simulation State is here, and this is our platings for today. We uh, appreciate everybody checking in with us, and I hope you guys enjoyed the plating. This is recorded, so we'll basically get it up and hopefully get it on. Whoa, look at this. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Holy cow. <laughs> All right. Zoom out for today. Uh, we had a really great time, John and I. We're going to actually enjoy yes. eating our bison dinner. Uh, Gorilla Uprising, thanks for joining. Cooked Delish Food, thank you so much for uh, for the comments. We are going to go ahead and devour this food. We have not eaten all day um, at all. We didn't cheat. We, we thought we'd have a little piece of something. We just said, we're going to wait. Yes. And uh, John did a fantastic job thanks, on everything, and we're going to have a great time. So we're going to crack some wine open. Thank you so much for uh, the comments. Uh, ben Bo Malone. Uh, looks like uh, Ole Huntington. Ole Huntington's my oldest, team. my oldest and oldest. dearest. <laughs> Good to see you. Uh, and uh, I'm sorry that uh, everybody else can't be here. Ukulele J Barbecue's wife is going to be able to have some food, so she's very lucky. And uh, thank you, Oscar, for your comment. Everything looks amazing. Enjoy. We will. And I hope that we'll see you again on another live when we do more cooking and plating. The Jay and John Show. The Jay and John Show. Smoke on, baby. We'll see you guys soon. You ready to sit down and eat some food? Let's eat some oh, take some the pictures. Take yeah, we got to get yeah. that one is going to look really bad because the zoodle the water. juiced out. Yeah. Well, we can actually, pl I can we could it. replace that if you wanted to. Well, I don't think picture. so. We can actually do the, uh, just the paper towels. I just soaked it. Oh, so, okay. Let me see what you think. Let's see. Did you like the bistro style plane? I did. Actually, no, no, I'm telling you. I'm going to take the backside. You're not close. Hey, let's go to oil. Wow, that was great, you guys. All right. Um, <clears throat> Nicely done. Did it go well? Yeah. While you're doing them, I'm going to get the hands and get the crostinis on those okay. and put the little tartars on them. We're going to put a little crostini on each that one of these. very nice. And rotate it very in a circle. Nice. If we can make it work. Oh, I will continue to fit. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I want to make sure they'll sit there. That one wine side. was great, by the way. Oh, I got more of it here. I brought a, a bottle with me. I, I think it's too slippery. Oh, it's too slippery. The crostini on the porcelain. That might work. We'll try. We'll try it. <clears throat> yeah. We'll give it a try. <laughs> Would you like to try the tartare? Since you're right if, here. If you're ready to let me oh, try definitely. it. Oh, definitely. Pull this up for you. Here's the tartare. Oh, cool. It was so weird because the camera was showing the reverse of the kitchen. Oh. And so it was. Everything looks over here. It was, well, no, it was literally like flip flop this way. Oh. And so it was strange to me watching the angle that you guys were coming in and out of. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I hear you. We'll have to, but uh, you guys did great. We'll I mean, have to decompress that mousse, though, because I don't want that bone marrow mousse to go to waste. We can just dollop it on our food because it's so flavorful. Oh. Yeah, so how come the... Uh, I think it was probably too thick. We probably needed oh. to cook it and get it a little warmer. Yeah. And uh, a little thinner. Now, one of the guys said to heat up the canister itself. Oh, I didn't um, see that comment. Yeah. I can't remember who said it. But the tenderloin just looks oh, it turned out so amazing. Good. That turned out so good. Just amazing. Put the black garlic on it for you. Oh my gosh. This is really I'm good. So sorry, your family's not here to eat this. Oh, I know. My kids are home. I, <laughs> I saw that. Um, now, how old are your kids? Uh, one is, uh, your daughter's age 22. Oh, okay. And the other one is 16. Oh. Oh, my gosh. 
Give that a try. Okay. You don't have to ask me twice. The dogs are all in here. I can oh, see of them. Course. They were yeah. so funny. You can, um, you can take all the photos one and stuff around. I'll trust you because I'm just going to send them off to the vice guy. Okay. Because you take really good photos, so. Mm. That is delicious. Isn't that the best oh ever? Oh my god. I couldn't oh, believe I Couldn't believe how mm. good that. Oh, you get the parsley here, and we'll do a quick run a lot to put on top of it for the presentation. And I love the green olives in there. I know. That's, I don't. They put cape, Most people put capers, and I'm just not a caper guy. I really am not. Mm. And um, capers are just one of those things that. Uh, they're just so briny to me. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's make a quick romulan here. Do you have a zester? Mm-hmm. We're gonna sit down and eat. Yeah, I'm just gonna make a quick romulan to put on top of the um. Okay. Take this outside. You got more tartar, -tar, right? Oh yeah. Put on plates and finish it off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm making this for the. <laughs> Dogs are all following. They will be out there. Thank you, Mike. And you, and you want to take that home, right? You want to take it home for your wife and stuff? Yeah, I'll take, take it home. I'll take you got the apps are there. I'm going to share this. I'm not sure, but that's okay. That's how it works. I'm going to eat it. I'm Thank you. 